how would we break down these false propaganda with actual facts? Susan Rubio states that Gil Cisneros won the lottery and owns no homes in the congressional district, that he was a longtime Republican, and that he's spending millions on ads to lie about her. She also claims that she was the daughter of immigrant parents. Keep that in mind. In 2020, her sister, Sylvia Ruber, was running for an assembly seat, and she lost. She was actually being attacked for being registered as a Republican from 2009 to 2019. She states that she had no recollection. How convenient. Also, Core Civic is Trump prisons. They went ahead and they gave Susan Rubio money back in 2018. Here you can see 726 2018 she received $2,000 from them. Wow. Immigrant parents accepting money from Trump prisons? Also, her sister Blanco Rubio accepted money on 411 2018. $2,000. Here in 2018, Susan Rubio's opponent Mank Inc. accused her about accepting money from Trump prisons and this is all verifiable on the Secretary of State website. Susan Rubio does not live or does not own any homes in the district. Here you can see that she bought her home in Ballon Park back in 2004. This is the original grant deed. Can verify it. Later, she was backed on her taxes and didn't pay her taxes for over 10 years. She then short sold her home to a private investor who paid off her taxes. And now she still lives in that home in Baldwin Park. Not only does she not pay her taxes, she short sold it, but still lives in that home and is running for a congressional seat. Here you can see the grant deed where she sold it in 2013 to the investor. Um, yeah, she still lives in the house and the investor is still the owner of the house. Do your research. These are all verifiable on the political article, Secretary of State website, and the Accessor Ellie County website. Do your research. Do not vote Susan Rubio.